So let me interject. Photoshop has updated its save feature and how you can access saving as a JPEG. So I wanted to cover that real quick. So typically, like I've already saved this layered PSD file, but let's say I wanted to output this single file as a JPEG and I go up to file. Well, see, I don't even get the chance to save it. I can only save as. So when I click save as, look at my options. In this video, I tell you to toggle on this format and it only gives me three options right here, which, you know, this is for giant files. I think it's over two gigabytes, Photoshop PDF and a TIFF. So the only way to even access, oh, and obviously save to cloud, but the only way to even access saving it as a JPEG is you have to choose save as copy. So you click save as copy. It opens up the same dialog box, except it says save as copy at the top. Now, when you go to the format, now you get the normal long list where you can select JPEG. Remember, if you're saving it for the web, you've always got to save it as sRGB or your colors will not look right in any of the social media platforms and any internet browser. So always shoot in the biggest color space as always process in the biggest color space. But when you're outputting your images, make sure you embed the color profile of sRGB. But anyway, let me redo that because this is huge. When you go to file and you want to save an image and you come down, you won't see JPEG. You have to click save a copy and that will repopulate the same dialog box, but it titles it save a copy. And now when you go to format, you're able to click JPEG and watch what happens. When I click save, it's going to automatically save a copy of this, which means my PSD is still however it is, but this is going to give me a second new document in the location I decided as a JPEG. Generally, I always save at a maximum of 12. Remember, if you take it to a quality of 10, our eyeballs won't see the difference, but at a roughly, I can't even remember now, uh, take your file size down by like half. So click OK, and that way it's just saved all this as a copy. Because remember, you can't have layers in a JPEG. That's why it's a copy, because it's basically flattening your image.